Hello and welcome to Jardin du Mayfair. Today on the Official Watchers YouTube channel, I will be unboxing something gigantic. This box is totally mad. I've been having a little play around with it. The drawers work. Inside you have a swing tag with lovely leather. You've got another strap, which is in black crocodile. And in this drawer here, you have a really soft microfiber pouch, which inside it has da -da -da -da, the golden key. If I pop that in there, it's a working mechanism. So it is actually locked, unlock, and there we have it the best watch box in the game that I've certainly seen in my time. So here we have it, seldom seen. This is the Breguet Tradition Fusée Tourbillon 7047. And I hope as an Englishman that I have not totally butchered the name of this watch. Uh, I've done my very best. As soon as the watch comes into your hand, you are totally blown away. Um, looking through the glass, it is just a dance of different mechanisms. Uh, we're gonna talk a lot about them and how they work. Um, we will have to go into some of the history of this piece. Why? Because it's very historical in itself as Breguet is a historical watch brand. Um, the fine watchmaking on this watch is just amazing. Uh, you could watch this for hours. I probably say that a lot, but I really mean it with this. This is truly a work of art. You can see why they get so much respect in the watchmaking industry, um, because the feat that has gone into engineering this is just amazing. In order to investigate the Breguet Tradition Fusée Tourbillon 7047, it just gets easier the more you say it. We have to go back to 1783. An admirer of Marie Antoinette placed an order with Breguet. They wanted a pocket watch that was fit for a queen. The only instruction for the pocket watch was that it was to be spectacular, with gold replacing any metals and complications as numerous and as varied as possible. And watch number 160, as it was named, fulfilled that request completely. Unfortunately, the piece was finished in 1802, which was nine years after her death by guillotine, and 19 years after the original order was placed. Fortunately, it doesn't take as long to get your hands on one in 2022. I thought as this was our first tourbillon review, it would be fitting to use a Breguet since Abraham Louis Breguet invented the mechanism that is considered one of the greatest in watchmaking complications. Also, this was 221 years ago. So to still hold that crown is truly something special. The watch is 41 millimeters. It has a rose gold case that wears a little larger due to its slim bezel. Now, I would say that this probably wears maybe more like a 47 or a 48 millimeter piece. So it definitely has a real sort of large feel to it, all due to the fact that you're looking at so much glass. It kind of reminds me of, dare I say, a Jacob & Co, like one of the kind of newer style Jacob & Co watches. Uh, but this one has a lot more class. I'm sorry to say it, but it's true. It would probably fit under a cuff, but let's be honest, you're not wearing a Breguet Tourbillon to put it under your cuff. The movement itself is an absolute masterclass. The tourbillon is on display at one with its cage and balance made of titanium, which is lighter and more efficient than steel. Sitting below at nine and four is the fusée and chain mechanism, which provides running power to the watch. The gratification you get when winding this watch is unlike anything I've come across. The dial set at seven is typically Breguet with hand guilloche decoration and Roman numerals. You will hear the term guilloche a lot when watches are spoken about. It is the pattern that is on the dial. If we flip it and take a look through the rear case back, you can view the movement, which has a kind of sandblast texture. The attraction is certainly all at the front of a watch like this, but it's nice to be able to see in the back as well. 
There is a big brother to this watch and it's a 7047 in platinum. This was worn by Ben Affleck in Batman v Superman when he was playing Bruce Wayne. Another thing that I like about this watch is that I hadn't seen one until today. Um, I certainly haven't been told about them before and I think in the current market where everybody knows most watches, I really do like the idea that there's still these things out there that we can see and find out together on the channel and be like, I never knew that existed. Guys, thank you so much for joining us for the Breguet Fuse Tradition Tourbillon 7047 unboxing. I've learned a lot, I hope you have too. Please do comment, like, share and subscribe and we'll be bringing you more videos next week.